Good morning, this is Amy with the Huddle Haas. This morning I'm gonna be making some food for baby Miles. He's not so much of a baby baby anymore. He's six months old now. And with Jace, I did just like baby led weaning, which I just went straight to table food whenever he showed interest and whatever he could pick up is what he ate. It was super easy, super convenient, and to this day he has been our best eater. He will eat. He would prefer what I'm eating to chicken nuggets and french fries. So he does like his share of chicken nuggets and french fries. Carter's sitting right here. Uh, he's going to watch me. Um, but Jace will eat salads. He'll eat, you know, just things. Uh, what, what else does he like that you don't? Asparagus. Yeah, you do like asparagus. But things that kids typically aren't real prone to. Now, I don't know, is it because of that? Is it just is it just his, his nature? So my plan was to just do the same thing with Miles. Just let him eat what he can get, you know, with pincher grasp and, and stuff like that. However, my other three sons are just dying to feed him. They just think that he needs to have something to eat when we sit down to, for supper. And he really does watch our spoons anymore. So we have, we did grow butternut squash this year. We always do some, we did more because I was pregnant. Um, this is always one of the first baby foods that I go to. So I'm just gonna show you how I do a simple baby food this morning. Um, this squash was stored in the root cellar since we harvested it and I washed it off and I'm going to peel it and chunk it and I'll let you know. Peeling butternut squash is not one, peeling and chunking I should say is not one of my favorite things to do. I think they chunk, they're, they're rock hard and you, your skin feels kinda, well try it, try it and you'll know. I don't know, it's just, I don't like the way it makes my skin feel, but. These scraps won't go to waste either. They're, they'll go out to the chickens. Well, why did you say this guy? Why did I call him a guy? Yeah. I don't know. I guess I just, I guess so that's just can, what I called him. So you can hit him right down the middle. Okay. So I'm going to scoop the seeds out. Well, we could save them. Yeah, we could save them and use them next year. I guess we'll have to ask Daddy if he wants to. We'll save a few seeds here for Carter. Matthew might know already how to do it, but saving seeds for plants the next year. Sometimes each seed, like I know tomatoes, you're supposed to, you soak for a few days so that the outer membrane bursts and then you, uh, you dry them. I don't know how these are. We'll have to ask Matthew when he gets home from work. That's chopping it. Oh, well, that's not, this one's not quite as, often they're just, some of them are just so rock hard to try to, the neck is always a little harder to cut through, but. And that knife is sharp. It sure is. Now I'm going to dice this smaller than just for speed of cooking it. Okay. 
And you can just cook this stove top in a kettle with a little bit of water. Um, now my mom, when Landon was a baby, she bought me, uh, it's called a baby cook. Uh, brand is B-E-A-B-A. -A. And so I have used that. It's, I love it because, show you here. So I, I'm gonna fill this with squash. Actually, Carter, you can, you can fill that with the squash that we have. Tell me when it's full. But you, you cook, it steams it. And so rather than, rather than it sitting in water and then you not utilizing those nutrients, it actually steams whatever, you're, whatever you have in here. And uh, I, I don't know, it just, it, I feel like it, in, it maintains more nutritional integrity and you don't lose so much. basket with squash and then I'm gonna put water in here and here in this contraption you fill you fill that hole with water and that's what it uses to steam your vegetable. Okay, see now I overfilled a bit and it has a overflow there that it's coming out. have a little troublesome. I shouldn't say always. I don't very, there we go. I sometimes have trouble getting the thing now what is to this? sit down in. Oh, oh that's a spoon to scrape the sides. I don't usually use it. It's good this isn't an ad for this contraption because I'm having more trouble now than I typically do. Wouldn't be a real convincing ad there. It still smell good? Okay, there we go. Okay, good job. Now, this just seals down on it. See, it's still not right. What is that? It does. Are you going to want to eat some squash? Okay, see, I was doing it the wrong way. So, there you go. Uh, but that sits down tightly. And then all you do, this is a harder vegetable, so I always run two cycles, but the only thing that you do is push that button. Okay, Carter, can you get back a little bit so they can see? Okay, you can push it. And it'll beep when it's done steaming. Okay, so this has cooked now it just it beeps when it's done and if I have a harder vegetable like I said I run it through two cycles but you just pop the lid take out your can you see I don't know if you can see there there's some water in the bottom that's what it used to, the extra that it used to steam. And then I just pour this directly into that. Close the lid again. And this time, instead of pushing the button, you wanna do it? Okay, come over here. I just turn it. Okay, come over. Come, come this way. Come to, come to Hilla. Desk. 
Nee, en nu stray stijl. Nu stray speciaal. Good job. Oh, there will be more landing. No, 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 not now. You can't when the. And then. Better put the baby down. I don't want him to. That's how it looks. Purees it beautifully. You can also, like I said, you can cook it in a kettle and uh, then just use a blender. And then what I like to do, because I'm doing this whole squash, this is the rest of the squash here. Obviously, it's way more than what he's going to eat before it goes bad in the refrigerator. So I like to put it in ice cube trays and freeze it and then pop it out. Just pop one cube out at a time. Mom, you should, you should put water and put it in there. It'll make ice. Yeah, that's how you make ice, right? That damn does. Mom. So, that's going to go in the freezer. I'm going to put some out in a bowl this morning and let's see what he thinks about it. So I put out what I think he'll use for the week here. Obviously, that depends on how he likes it. Some for the freezer. And we're going to just put some more in here again. I learned something since last attempting this. It's when you put it on the right way, it flips, it fits right in. So how's that for learning my new thing every day? Again, I'm gonna fill this. Just drop that in. Fill the reservoir again. And we'll let that cook. Okay, now here's our official baby tester. We'll see how this how this goes. Are you excited? Are you? Mmm, pretty good. Nice creamy texture. Well, Mama, I'd say it's a win there. Mama, Mama. What? Can I do this and do this. Is it pretty delicious? Huh? Is it yummy? <laughs> okay. So I finished up the squash and we've got it all chopped and frozen. And it made a pretty good size gallon sized bag of cubes and then I'll just pull one out at a time and let it thaw in the refrigerator and heat it up and let him eat that. It has no seasonings or anything in it. Um, I also have a container in the refrigerator for him to eat on the next uh, the next few days. So it's easy, it's inexpensive and he enjoys it. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.